everybody welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before my name is Heather thanks for joining today we are doing another Dollar Tree project but it's an experiment because I've never used these products before and I've been wondering is it worth it it's my question is is it worth it <laughs> So Dollar Tree in their craft section has this faux leather here, right? It's not thick, I'm going to tell you that. And so I know that, at least. Um, and they also have this iron-on glitter. There we go. So this is like a pink. I'll take these out of their containers here. And I keep walking by them thinking like, there's got to be something I can do with these things. Is it worth it? So today we're going to find out. Today we're going to find out, can we iron on our glitter to our faux leather, both from the dollar store, Dollar Tree, and can we make something with it? Like, will it iron on long enough for us to make something? And what we're going to make is just a little, a little like pouch that we can clip onto something. So something small, something that I would normally leave unlined. So like, we're going to see if we can up our small pouches by iron in ironing on glitter from the dollar store so all right let's see we're gonna open together because I have like I said this is an experiment I don't know is it gonna work it might it might not okay all right so here we go so you can see super thin right actually doesn't stretch which is nice this is like a camel color I don't think it has a color name on it says it's 100% polyester. It's coated with polyvinyl chloride. I don't know what that means. Waterproof effect and soft feel, easy to cut, perfect for sewing crafts, accessories, jewelry, and more. There we go. That's what it's perfect for. All right, so that's that, the camel. Now our iron-on sheet. This is like a pink. They did not have a lot of color options. Um, you know how you guys have like you you must if you go to the Dollar Tree you have like one that's like you are Dollar Tree it has a lot of stuff in it and then you have one that's like mm, it's closer but doesn't have the same things okay so that's where we're at all right so here's this is that pink okay and this is pretty small right so it's not the same size as our faux leather and here's our sheet um, so it looks like we're going to use our iron. We're going to use a little piece of fabric on top of our iron to heat it. Um, set your iron to cotton linen setting. Make sure the steam is setting is off. Preheat the area. Place the cut design onto the preheated area with the liner side facing up, which I assume is the, um, very shiny side that looks like it has plastic over it. Apply medium pressure with the iron onto the design for 25 to 30 seconds. Flip the material over and apply medium pressure again onto the back for an additional 25 to 30 seconds and then you let it cool and remove the liner. So we're going to set up our iron. I will set up the camera view so you can see me ironing it. We're just going to cut out like like a boxy bag, a, a mini boxy bag, small, the five by seven um, that we'll make into a little keychain pouch. Um, so I'm gonna cut out the five by seven of our faux vinyl, and then a matching five by seven of our iron-on glitter, and then we will, when we come back, we'll be at the iron to see how well it stands up. Can it take the heat? That's what we're gonna find out. Okay. We have our iron on and heating up. I also just grabbed a scrap of number five zipper tape, a zipper and um, a little half inch swivel hook and a scrap piece of webbing so that we can make our pouch something that we can attach. So those are here. As long as we can get this to sort of iron on, then I think we will be able to move forward with making our pouch. Let me just back you guys up a little bit. There we go. 
So these are, like I said, this is just a five by seven. It's like a, the itty bitty boxy bag size. We're not gonna make a boxy bag, we're just gonna make a pouch, but the five by seven is sort of perfect. And so what I'm doing now is our faux leather is right side down, wrong side up. And then per the instructions, our iron on is like matte side down and shiny side up. Shiny side is what I think we peel off once it gets cold. So we have our piece of cotton to put over it. Just gonna keep it held there in place. Move everything out of the way and put our iron down. And count, sort of. <laughs> kind of want to stick it down and then I'll be able to move across because it, it's a little bubbly not bubbly but you know it, it was rolled so it wants to roll back up again it does say 25 to 30 seconds And there's like a few sections, so we're just gonna make sure that we sort of hold it over all the sections for as long as we need. And I think that there's a way to check to see if it's gonna pull up on you, which we'll do here in a second. It's not a big piece, just experimenting. Okay, so I think, oh, it's so hot. I can see it still pulls up here at the corner. So we're just gonna work that back in. It's super hot, you guys. <laughs> it's like way hotter than when you iron interfacing onto, um, vinyl or a bag or anything. I can pick that stuff up no problem. This is like, woo, it's hot. Okay. All right. All right. Let's pull this back up. See if we have any corners that are sticking out or sticking up. Looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let it cool totally. And then we'll come back together and we'll peel off this top piece, I guess, is what we're calling it. The, you know, we're going to pull it off. All right. So it's cool. I can touch it. <laughs> now we just have to peel away our backing somehow. So I'm just trying to find like a corner. I guess we're just trying to peel off this plastic piece on the outside. It's not easily peelable. But so far, so good. Maybe we ironed it too good. <laughs> I don't know. I don't usually use iron on anything, so it's all kind of new to me. Kind of taking my time at the corners and the edges. Oh, there we go. It's a little better. Oh my gosh, it's staying on.
You guys, I can't believe it. <laughs> look, look at how shiny. What? I'm in shock, like actual shock. <laughs> All right, let's go to the sewing machine and sew up a little pouch. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're just trying to see if it'll sew. I can't believe it. It is so shiny. So what we're gonna, we're just gonna make a flat pouch, like one that I could clip to a bag or something like that. And so we're just gonna take our zipper tape and we're gonna go ahead and just sew it. Zipper right side facing down, okay? And we're at the Juki TL2010Q, as always, with our Text 35 weight thread. And this is, again, just five by seven cut pieces, okay? So nothing crazy. Just doing something easy peasy that you can replicate, no problem. Okay, so we stitched and now we're top stitching. So far, so good. I can't believe it. By the way, the foot on my machine is a tank foot from Soulful Therapy. It is not in stock. If you like it, I know a lot of people comment on it, please give her an email and tell her to get it back. Okay. Don't, don't say I sent you, but nicely, nicely. All right, so that's one side. We're gonna just come up here, attach the other side, same way. So what I've done is just, we're taking the right side of our zipper tape and we're just folding it so that the edges line up, top edge, side edges, I will make sure our little pouch is even. Clip if you want. Now to top stitch here, we do have to separate these, okay? So don't stress. Separate. We're cutting our threads because this is it's unlined. We put a backing so it'll look gorgeous on the inside, but it's not gonna have a lining in it. So you do just wanna make sure you trim down any of your threads so they're not hanging around in there. Okay, top stitch. These are, um, the <laughs> these little pouches are perfect for craft shows and I know fall craft fair season is upon us. I don't know. I'm not going to be able to keep myself from saying how shocked I am. <laughs> I'm just shocked. Okay, here we go. Where is my career? <laughs> I'm so shocked. I'm losing my things. Okay. Now what we need to do is realign our zipper, but we want to do it from the inside of our bag, which sometimes can be difficult, right? And so here we are. We're gonna line up our vinyl, okay? And we're just gonna clip it so that it stays where we want it. So make sure we're even. And then we're gonna take our zipper pull and looking at the right side of the zipper tape, okay? So again, this is inside out. We're gonna take our zipper pull and we're just gonna plop this on. And this side here. Nope, <laughs> sorry. I can't believe this is working so much that I can't get the zipper pull on the tape. That's what's happening. All right, here we go. We're gonna pull it on once and we're gonna pull it all the way through. Okay, because we wanna close our zipper tape. There we go. Now we're gonna, so now it's closed which will make it really easy for us we're gonna put our zipper pull on again. 
And this time we're going to leave it in the middle. So we're just going to pull it through so that it's in the middle. And this will just help us make our pouch nice. All right. So right there in the middle, when it's closed, it will be closed up here. And so we're just going to take our little swivel hook. We're putting, we're centering that on our zipper tape. Okay. Just like so. Okay. All right, you guys, we're almost done. Oh, I can't get over how sparkly this is. I can't. It's crazy. And you know what? This is looking so good. We're going to bind. We're going to do just a little bit of binding on it. This is just that one inch elastic. If you've been watching my videos, you know, I've become semi obsessed with it, but the inside of this looks so good that I want to close off the edges too. So now we're all together. We have our swivel hook in at the top. We're just going to stitch this together with my fave seam allowance, which is a quarter inch pattern. Keep that in mind. Quarter inch is my fave. If I could make my own or when I do make my own, that's always what I use. Okay. Same thing over here. Take our time over the webbing and zipper tape combo there. Is a little bulkier. All right, now we're just going to cut off our excess. And we need to do that because we're binding. You should do it anyways, but especially since we're binding, we're going to just seal our zipper tape as always and our webbing. Our webbing can fray too if unsealed, so keep that in mind. Cutting off our extra threads. Now, this is a one inch wide elastic, you guys, so our quarter inch seam allowance will be perfect. We're just going to pop this over. We're going to let it overhang for now. Okay. Same thing over here. This elastic has a little center mark to it. You can see it. That's what we're using. And this is just, you're not going to see these edges again. I wasn't going to bind. That's why I didn't show binding when we were over at the table. But it's so stinking cute. I can't believe it. I just, I literally can't. Okay. So we're just going to sew this on at a slightly smaller than quarter inch seam allowance. And again, this, you're never going to see this. Not a big deal. Just give our little edges a little bit more pizzazz to match our big sparkle that worked and I can't believe it. <laughs> can't. Okay. Again, we're just going to take our time over that zipper tape webbing combo. I can see we're getting to that bulkier bit. And we're just going to cut off our excess elastic to match with our sides. And that's it. Let's go turn this couch out and see what the Dollar Tree gave us, you guys. Let's do it. All right. We got our, look at it. We got our pouchy. <laughs> We're just gonna turn. Again, we didn't do a boxy pouch or anything. We're just, we just wanted to see if this faux leather and iron on glitter would work. And I'm just, we're just turning. Sorry. I'm in full shock. 
full shot. Okay, so we're just pushing out our corners. And this five by seven um, size is perfect for holding like cards in it. I make these all the time out of regular vinyl, waterproof canvas, fabric, etc. They're like my go-to pouch for add-ons. Sometimes I'll include them with like a bag order. If somebody orders a bag and I have something that's matching. Just getting into our last corner here. And these would be easier to push out if we didn't add the binding. But like I said, I wanted to. Okay. What? <laughs> what? You guys, this is Dollar Tree faux, vi faux leather. Look at it. It's like pebbly and bling. Okay. Again, Dollar Tree iron on glitter what and so you see you can see our binding just a tad bit when you open it and that's why i wanted to put it because it actually looks really nice super high end i don't i don't understand you know i love the dollar tree but i am <laughs> i'm like i'm shook shocked i can't believe it like how cute this took us no time whatsoever no one is going to look at this on your table or in your shop and think like, oh, that came from the Dollar Tree. Those are Dollar Tree products. No one, especially when they open it and they're like, oh, wow, that's so, so nice. Look, it makes a sound. I don't, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm so pleased. Our experiment worked. You guys, this is our first Dollar Tree experiment. I have done so many Dollar Tree things that I like, have, I know that they're going to work out. I know we've done them or I've done them first with something different. I had actually no clue if this was going to come out, if it was going to iron onto itself because they're both products from the Dollar Tree, if we were going to be able to sew through it without it like gunking up my needle. Like I, I didn't know if like the adhesive from the iron on would be, you know, would into, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't know, but now I do. And now you guys know too. And oh my God, you need to do it. You need to do it. That's it. You have to. And you have to tell me that you've done it. You have to comment on this video and say that you went to your favorite Dollar Tree or the one that's closest to you because you know they're usually different. They're different. And you gotta tell me, did you get some faux leather and some iron-on glitter? Did you make this five by seven lay flat pouch that can hook onto literally anything? You gotta tell me in the comments because I wanna hear, I wanna hear, I wanna see. I want you to show me, show me what you did that you made these. I can't, I'm so happy. This might be my favorite Dollar Tree project we've ever done on the channel, but also in my life, because I'm, whew, I'm wowed. I hope you're wowed too. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you have questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below, unless they're really not nice. And then um, you can feel free to also leave them below, but know that those beautiful people who follow me are gonna, <laughs> they're gonna have something to say about it, which I think is amazing too. Thank you all so much for that. Anywho, thanks so much for joining me for our latest Dollar Tree DIY. I hope you will do one too, for real this time. Like seriously, you can do this. So easy, you can do it. Thank you all, have an awesome day, and I will see you soon.